Hey there friendlies, it's almost December and so you know what that means. It's time for the Rain Dance Bushcraft 2018 gift guide. Oh yeah. So one thing I want to get uh, out of the way off the bat, the format for this year is a little different than the previous two. What I've done in the past was I had like a higher limit of 100 Canadian dollars. There are two things that I'm doing differently this time. One is it's going to be in American dollars to be more international and because American dollars definitely give you more freedom than Canadian dollars do right now. The second is instead of one limit, it's a tiered approach. I've got two gifts at the up to 20 US dollar mark, two from there to 50, two from there to 100, two to 200, and then two for those of you who are flush with money at around 500 bucks, okay? It's gonna be great. There's a squirrel out there. So to start us off, the first gift at the $20 mark <clears throat> is the Pride Abrasive Truing Stone for Water Stones. Is that right? Pride Abrasive Truing Stone for Water Stones. Got it right. Um, which I own. Actually, this is the um, the Norton version, but it, it's essentially the same stone. Hell, it might even be made at the same factory. It's a silicone carbide stone. Um, it's three by nine by three quarters inches, and it's got these slanted grooves for like slurry control. Uh, the way you do it <clears throat> is you take your your water stone and you draw a grid on it in pencil, and then you know you wet everything up, and you essentially go grinding until just until the, the grid has completely disappeared. Until then, every, everywhere you see a bit of grid, it means you haven't gotten to there yet. So there's like a divot or something. Anyways, it's a really good solution and I like it a lot. Uh, the second idea at the $20 mark is the Petzl Tikina headlamp. Um, it's a nice little guy. It's real simple, one button, three light levels. You can run it on either three triple A's or if you don't want to be throwing batteries away all the time, the company has like a proprietary, uh, they call it the core battery, it's rechargeable. Uh, so it's problem free, simple to use, you know, and it comes in at like just under 20 bucks. So gift three is the first gift at the $50 level and that is the classic giver gloves, okay. They're a nice leather. You guys have seen them on my on my channel, right? Um, they're good. They're they're sort of they're three season gloves. I wouldn't go out at like minus forty in them. The company does make some uh, winter gloves as well that are much more insulated. But with these, I can pick up hot stuff off the fire. It's good for a chilly day. And they fit good. That they hold up really well. Um, they clock in at 40 bucks US plain, or if you go for like a branded initials, to personalize them is 45 US plus shipping. Good gloves. Um, they've been holding up really well to a lot of use too. So, you know, if you don't want to spend like crud gloves money, you know, or, or Hess or anything, these are a good North American made, I think they're made in the States um, solution. Good gloves. Gift number four, which is the second gift at the $50 range, is the folding camp grill at Townsend's. That's townsend's.us, the URL that's gonna be right, boom. Um, it's like a hand forged metal grill. What is it? It's 12 by 16 and the legs are eight inches. So it's good for putting over a, uh, over a campfire. Um, looks really good. Townsend's is, is a good little business. A lot of their stuff is made by local uh, makers or American or you know as close to them as, as can be very often they're made using old techniques and old materials um, so it's it's a cool place to spend your money it, it's not a huge corporation which is a plus in my opinion 
one, two, three, four. So give number five, which is the first one at a hundred bucks, is a little confusing. It's the Hultiforus Woodsman's Axe. It's a two pound head, 26 inch handle, and you can't get it if you live in the United States. The North American distributor is bushcraftcanada.com, uh, where they sell it for $89.95, and they can sell to Canada, they can sell to Europe, but there's some legal reason that it can't cross the border into the States. So, unless you eBay it, or you have a Canuck is standing by it for you and you meet at the border, or you just come up and buy one and, and cross the border, <clears throat> you can't have it. Um, so what you can have down there is the Holtzbrook Tornio, which is 26 inch, again, uh, and it's 1.75 pounds, so that's a pound and three quarters. It's US $89, same price. Um, if you're in Canada, though, shipping to Canada is $41.50. So, stick with the Hult de Fours if you're up here. Go for the uh, Hult Brock if you're down south, okay? So, gift number six, which is the second one at the $100 mark, is the Hennessy Scout Zip Camping Hammock. Um, it's it's not their entry-level one, but it, it's a light one, okay? It's, it's good for people up to about 173-ish centimeters, 5 foot 8, or... Um, 91 kilograms, so about 200 pounds, um, which actually makes it more than enough for me, <laughs> to be honest. It's 99, uh, 99.95 US. Uh, it's you know, it's it's all the Hennessy stuff that that you like. Um, it's got like a high density nylon. It's got that really fine bug netting on it. Uh, it comes with a rain fly. Comes with um, straps so you don't hurt the trees it, it's a really nice package great stuff canadian company north american company whatever it's a good company i think you would not regret picking that up for a loved one or putting it on your santa list so what's next the 200 dollar level okay and the 200 dollar level is kind of cool because they're both canadian made items um, by which i mean i don't mean the companies here but they're made in china i mean they're made here and one of these companies is a straight up one-man shop um, the first is, so I guess gift seven, is the Sportes um, Firewall Plus. It's a very cool contraption. It's It's got two, well, it looks like that. So it's got two supports and a platform for your logs. You can have a little, little bonfire, like a tiny fire. Uh, and then on top of that, there's another grill where you can like cook a steak or something. It's very cool. It's stainless steel. It's like two and a half kilograms. I think um, it's 33 centimeters by 33 and a bit by 19 centimeters. Uh, so wait, I wrote that down in American. 13 inches by 13 and a quarter by seven and a half. Is that a, is that a five? Is that a half? Oh, my handwriting. Uh, anyways, it comes with a carrying bag. It's, it's stainless steel. It's a really cool item by um, a guy who I like a lot. I, I like the way he does business. He's a great guy to work with. Remember back, some of you might remember a while ago, I did a review of the Midi 001 Swedish Fire Torch Grill, which I still use and I'll probably use forever. It's bomb proof, bomb proof. So if you're looking for something a little different, this is pretty cool. Oh, and it's uh, 162.50 in Canadian. So for Americans, it's even, you know, it's even more affordable. And as to where you go to get it, there will be a link in the show notes below or like right here, <laughs> right? Uh, so where are we at? We're at eight. We're at eight. Yes, we're at eight. Number eight is a bucksaw. It's a wooden folding bucksaw. I, I got tired of waiting for Adventure Sworn to get the saws back in action. So I went looking for, for another one and I found a really cool one. He's a guy, a uh, one-man shop out in the prairies somewhere. And here's the thing. He has an Etsy shop and he has an Instagram. And when he doesn't have anything to put on the Etsy shop, they kind of, they hide the shop. So I'll give you both. Uh, the Etsy shop is Maple Made Bucksaw. And his, uh, which is there. And on Instagram, he's Funk Jody, which is there. Uh, He's got walnut, uh, hickory, and I think ash for 150 bucks. For me, it's gonna be a walnut. <laughs> I'm, I'm buying one this year and it's gonna be a walnut. 
So at 500 bucks, we got two kind of exciting things. Okay, the first, which would be gift number nine, is the Meandering Maker Three Day Pack Deluxe. So do I have that right? Yes, I do. It's a wax canvas bag with leather. Um, it's, it's beautifully made. Another one man shop. He's in the States. Um, it's a 24 liter bag ish. It's got side pockets it's got two front pockets and then it's got like an axe um, an axe sleeve down the middle it's got like a reinforced leather bottom yeah, it's it's just it's beautiful it's got some um, d-rings all over i'm just make taking a look because there are some options that you can buy with it as well um it's got d-rings on it for lashing stuff and some of the options are like a sternum strap or bedroll straps you know the options are like, you know, the sternum strap and the bedroll straps are 30 bucks each. There's another option at around 15, you know, so the price can really go up. But your starting price on this is 385 US. If I remember, yes, I do have that right. 385 US. Um, that seems like a lot of money for a backpack, but like a handmade pack by a one man guy. If I had, you know, essentially what? What would that be like 425 Canadian right now? If I had it in my pocket, I would say shut up and take my money. You know, it, it looks really cool. People seem to really like his work. Uh, he's very active on Instagram. He's a nice guy. Um, so I would definitely give it a look if you got some scratch and you're looking for a really cool bag. And now for gift number 10. It's a knife. It is the Northman Guild Scandi Brother number no. 2 in Elmax steel. Because why the hell not? We're at the top end of our of our gift guide. So let's just go for it. Because it is $500. It's a knife for, once again, $500. Um, it's a 5-inch blade, which is not really my jam. I like a 4-inch blade. It's got a curly birch handle. Am I right? Curly birch. Uh, Rockwell hardness of 61. And... Um, I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Hell yeah, right? Hell yeah. Uh, you can order a right-handed or left-handed sheath with it. And it's gorgeous. Did I mention the gorgeous? Boom, look. I want that knife. I won't be buying that knife this year. But, um... Oh, come on. It's just so pretty. Right? So... There we are. We're at the end of the gift guide. I hope that you found something to either buy for a bushcrafty loved one or to ask a loved one for. <laughs> I'll probably have to change the the title of this one. It, it can no longer be the, you know, the 2018 Rain Dance Bushcraft Affordable Gift Guide. Now it's just the 2018 Rain Dance Bushcraft Gift Guide. Affordable or otherwise. <laughs> But yeah, so that's that's that. Um, I would like to say Happy Christmas if you're Christmassy, Happy Hanukkah if you're Hanukkah-y, Happy Kwanzaa if you're Kwanzaa-y. Did you say Happy Kwanzaa? Happy Yuletide, Happy Holidays. And as I always say, if you like what I'm doing, then please get the conversation started down below. Hey, I got an idea this year. Tell me what's on your Santa list. What are you asking for? What are you buying someone? What's the bushcrafty goodness going around? Aside from that, please share the video. I would love it if you did that. Um, subscribe. If you are subscribed, then hit that little bell and leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, leave me a frowny thumb. Thanks for watching, guys.